Our next talk is a lightning talk um, on uh, by Indranil Ghosh on Q-game theory, an R package for teaching quantum computing and quantum game theory to students. Uh, so we have a pre-recorded talk, so if you just bear with me, I'll uh, get that video started now. Hope everyone can see. Hello, everyone. So I am Indranil Ghosh, a PhD student uh, in Applied Mathematics from the School of Fundamental Sciences, Passive University. So today I'm going to talk about the QGAM theory package. Uh, before that, I want to thank the source organizers for giving me this opportunity to come and speak in this reported conference. So what is QGAM theory? So it's a contributed R package that I developed while I was doing my master's in physics from Jadapur University. So, um, so this, this is a tool that can be used by undergraduate students to learn about quantum computing or the basics of game theory or merge them together to uh, learn the advanced stuff called quantum game theory. So uh, like uh, quantum game, so the, this Q game theory package, uh, implements uh, the simple quantum computing framework known as the quantum circuit model for all its calculations. And uh, for now, current the current, recent version of this package uh, gives access to seven uh, quantum game models. They are uh, penny flip game, the prisoner's dilemma, the two person duel, the battle of the sexes, Hawk and Dove, uh, Hawk and Dove game, Newcomb's paradox and the Monty Hall problem. So you can uh, download uh, uh, the package from either of these two sources, from either uh, from GitHub or uh, from Pran repository. And after uh, downloading, you can activate the package and initialize all its variables inside it using the uh, command called init. So you can um, play around with qubits or qtreats. For example, uh, the qubit zero, which is actually the vector one zero, can be um, uh, initialized in the following way uh, in the RStudio console. So you just need to write q dollar q zero. So q zero after the dollar symbol uh, implement like uh, uh, tells us about qubit zero. So, but uh, before, so what is this q dollar? So q is actually the environment that holds all the important parameters or the, or the variables uh, that, that needs to be used from this Q game theory package. So keep in mind to use this uh, Q dollar each and every time you use any variables or uh, functions or parameters from this package. Suppose you want to uh, write this uh, like uh, an arbitrary uh, quantum state, which is psi, which is actually the Kronecker product between the qubit zero and the sum of sum of qubit uh, sum of uh, one by uh, root two qubit zero and one by root two qubit one. So this can be easily uh, like implemented using uh, the R language with this package. You can also uh, see the vector form just by writing psi in the R console, and you will get the form. You can also perform quant uh, quantum measurement simulations on these uh, quantum states using the Q measure function. And you will get uh, this probability density plot each and every time you use the Q measure uh, function. You can also work with uh, quantum gates called uh, Hadamard gate, C0 gate, Fred King gate, Toffoli, and so on. And, or even Gelman uh, uh, matrices. You can work with Bell states. You can also perform quantum Fourier transform with this package. Uh, suppose here, uh, this is one of the quantum algorithms that I have generated using the I IBM Q experience. And I have just transformed this algorithm, like uh, this um, circuit model uh, into the R code using this Q game theory package. And this is what I get uh, the probability distribution plot uh, by using this code. You can also work with uh, simple game theory concepts called IDSDS algorithm or the Nash equilibrium for payoff matrices and implement them uh, using functions from this package called IDSDS function or the Nash function. You can, uh, so this is one of the um, games called quantum benefit game. And this is one of the instances of this particular game where both Alice and Bob, who are the players involved in this game, cheats and they want to uh, win this uh, game. 
So what happens is that for this instance uh, illustrated by this uh, game tree, uh, if you look into the probability distribution plot, you will see that both Alice and Bob will have the equal probability of winning. So you can use, similarly, you can use the QGame theory package to analyze other uh, instances uh, for this quantum penny flip game where Alice can win or only Bob can win. So the other uh, games can also be implemented using the package and some miscellaneous functions are also provided to learn some uh, simple stuff. So now I want to show you the um, uh, CRAN repository. So this is actually the CRAN uh, repository uh, for uh, this package, uh, which this is uh, which holds all the um, important uh, links and abstracts and all the informations. So you can come here and you can uh, uh, run the like you can uh, run the checks. You can check the. Uh, like how the package is running on the CRAN server. And for now, uh, all like it's running fine for uh, all the cases. And you can see that the state status are okay for each and every case. You can also download the reference manual uh, from, for this package and check whether uh, like uh, check that like more functionalities or more uh, parameters and uh, variables. You can, and this is the uh, GitHub repo which uh, holds a detailed uh, documentation for this package. So that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Can we have a round of applause for internet? <laughs> do we have any questions? Ah, yes, we do. Um, so um, we have a question. Had this approach been evaluated in a teaching environment? If so, what were the results? Uh, so no, I actually uh, haven't like uh, tried this out um, in front of broad audience. But what I did is that uh, like before I joined uh, my PhD, I was uh, working uh, in a company. So there I introduced the um, package and like people were very interested to learn about quantum computing. Like those had uh, like backgrounds in uh, management or like backgrounds in uh, computer science, but they only hear about uh, quantum computing and they are very keen to learn about them. So like I introduced this package and they were very much uh, like, it's very easy to uh, learn R and it's very easy to like, if you know the basics of R, you can deep dive into this, uh, like um, using this package and can learn some basic concepts. So yeah, I think, uh, like, I think there are, uh, there is a, um, like there are lots of uh, like uh, ways to like uh, improve this package. Uh, I was also thinking of uh, including some network games and uh, some advanced stuff, but that needs more people, I think. So uh, let's see how it goes. Thank you.